Hey everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage and I'm on my way to Oberlin, Ohio. I'm heading down there for a, uh, an estate sale that looks to be magnificent. But I'm going to stop and walk around the city and see what I can find and I'm going to take you with me. So I got here early for an estate sale. So it is only 10.30 a.m. and I know a lot of the stores have not opened yet. Um, this is one of the stores I really want to go to. And it doesn't open until one o'clock. Um, so not sure I'm gonna hang around that long or not, but really, really cute, like a little thrift store. Cute little buildings here. There's a, this is a college town, so there is, uh, Oberlin College is here in this little town. Beautiful campus, I've been driving around here. Lovely, lovely campus. Beautiful buildings. Um, Blue Rooster Bakehouse with bakery, do you see that over there? Maybe I'll head over there. Um, I know that there are some really fun little shops just around the corner up there. So I'm gonna go head up there, see what I can find, but maybe, maybe just maybe. I need some coffee and a bakery product. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> so I stopped into the coffee shop and look at all the yummy stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What a great way to pass the time while you're waiting for the stores to open. Look, yummy, 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 yummy. So this is the Blue Rooster. Look, there's a rooster. Um, corner Bakery, I think they called it Corner Bakery, I'll have to look. But anyway, let me get over here where you can see. Look at this cute little eating area. Look, look at this cute little eating area, isn't it fun? Look at the lights. What a fun way to spend your time. I'm gonna sit down for a second and I'm gonna bite into this brownie and drink some of my coffee before I head out to explore more stores. I just stopped at that cute little uh, gallery and studio and bought some art supplies. They have some um, artwork and they also have art supplies. And then in the back they have cats. I think they like take in strays or something and try to rehome them. Um, I didn't get to see the cats though, but fun. So this is College Street in Oberlin and I'm getting ready to go into this Ben Franklin store. Isn't that fun? I'm not sure it's still an actual Ben Franklin or if they're just using the old signage, but it doesn't matter. It's adorable. Really, really cute. Across the street, I'll pan over there. Beautiful, beautiful park. It's hard to see sometimes in, on, on screen, but really cute. And then let me film over here. So this is the historic district of Oberlin. Very fun. It says the intersection of Main and College Streets has been the center of Oberlin since the town and college were founded in 1833. The first downtown buildings were made of wood and were destroyed by a series of spectacular fires. The first college building, Oberlin Hall, stood on the southwest corner of College in Maine and included recitation rooms, a dining hall, chapel, offices, and lodging. And then you guys can read the rest maybe. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's a fun place. All right, you can tell by the street there that that's going to be a fun little old shop to go into. So I'm going to check it out. So when you walk in, you get these really cool old cases, right? And look at the signage up there. Isn't that fun? And guys, I remember going to these little counters when I was a kid with my mom with the nuts. Isn't that fun? Really, really cute. And I'm going to spin. Hold on. Look at all the treats here. Oh, wonderful, wonderful treats. Definitely a vintage vibe in this store. I love it. So much fun. So you have to stop here. All right, so she gave me permission to film in there, but she was having a little meeting with someone, and I really didn't want to capture that on film. So, um, yeah, if you stop in Oberlin, Ohio, you definitely should stop at Gibson's. Really fun little place. Definitely will remind you of childhood like it did me. I'm on the other side of the street now from that art place that I was at, but look at the skyline there. Isn't that cool with the spire in the background? That's from a, one of the college buildings back there. Just a really, really cute little college town. I'm having fun. 
sometimes these little accidental day trips are the best. Still in Oberlin and it is after one o'clock, so I'm gonna go check out that fun little store right now. I did go to Main Street Antiques. That's gonna be a separate video because I filmed a lot in there. It was such a cute store. So you'll have to watch for that video. All right, I'm back. This is rat season, Oberlin. Isn't it cute? Look at that sign. I knew it was a great place to come. I'm gonna see if they'll let me film inside. And uh, here we go. Anyway, really cute things. Look at this one's in the window. Look! Oh my gosh, adorable. You know I saw that, right? Kitchy, look at the little camera. Isn't that fun? Anyway, this is the inside of this cute little store. I'm going to turn you around so you can see. Get kind of an overview. Look at how fun. Very, very fun little store. Oh, look, Frida. We have Frida socks. Those are cool. Let's go see over here. <clears throat> Troll. All kinds of fun earrings. I love the babies in chains. Look, they're doing um, jump rope. Jump rope. Yeah, yeah the, the word words. Me and words. <laughs> they escape me all the time. The little baby heads. So they're so cute. Little silly little baby heads. And look, here. These remind me of um, Mary Beth. There's another. There's a couple other pairs. <laughs> Mary Beth. Um, it's another YouTuber. Fat Bird Finds is their channel, and she um, likes dinosaurs, so she has. It's a dinosaur thing. <laughs> Fun. Oh my gosh, look at those cats. These are cute. Oh, look at babies. Babies riding dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, too cute. And then, oh, look at, wait, look at these babies. Babies. Aren't those fun? Now what you have to see over here. Isn't this fun? Dee just bought my last baby um, doll arms and feet. <laughs> but look what you could do, D. Emotional support limbs. That's cute. Very, very cute. And then they've got teeth. Too funny. Too funny. And I like this too. Be nice or leave. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just sold one before you came in. Oh, these are so fun. So I walked over here and I cackled. You guys missed it. I cackled. Um, look at these amazing dinosaurs with the baby doll heads and the lady here at Ratsy's actually makes these <laughs> They're so much fun. Oh, so weird. I know takes the right person, but the right person loves these She's got lots of fun vintage here too. Lots of little squeakers This one's fun. I can't read the bottoms of any of these. I've been taking pictures to try and read them <laughs> They're still fun. Very cute. Adorable little squeakers. Look at them. Cute. There's a little um, ducky. That's like a baby stroller thing. These fun. Oh, look, beakers. These are fun for Halloween displays. Those are new, but they're still fun for Halloween displays. Right? Cute. Look, they're jokey. Look, I think this room has all of the fun vintage. Oh, there's a, a dinosaur. She packages up all of her stuff and really cute. I like it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> it just it cracks me up. Look at the baby. Baby.
And I, of course, adore the little bodiless or disembodied heads. How fun are those? <laughs> How fun are those? I like the little ephemera packs. That's cute. Guys, this is a really fun store. If you're ever around here, we make a little trip down to Overland. You do have to stop by here. Very cute. Look at this this bird cage. $85. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love that. Fabulous. And the kitschy. Look at the kitschy lamp, you guys. Oh my god, that's only $10. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> no, I can't do it. If you want a fun kitschy lamp, come here. It's here, waiting for you. What's this? What's in here? Uh, it's a gift. Eight dollars for that little puppy. Oh, he's got a little boo boo on his belly. He's cute. Do I need him? I might need him. More baby hugs. Nope, that's a baby torso. There's her. I like this um, tin, too. I love this. I love that. She's got 35 on it. That's a good price. All right. This is also right up my alley. Look at how much fun this is. We've got several little um, mystery jars here. I love the... I love the word... Um, blocks in there. Look at how cute. I like the lid on that too. That's neat. Put that back over there. Look at the little Girl Scout baby. Little Girl Scout baby. Oh, the jar on this is cool. That's great. The jar on this is really cool. Fun, 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 fun. Look at all the babies up here. Babies. <laughs> I just love all the dinosaur baby head things. <laughs> and way up there, wait, way up there, are some more dolls. Cool. <laughs> and they're adorable little finger hands. Oh my gosh. You have to stop here if you come to Oberlin. This is a lot of fun. And the lady that owns the place is a joy. I've been chatting with her for a little while. She's an artist as well. So of course, you know, that just, you know, attracted me. So if you guys are in Oberlin, you have to come by. And um, this is Ratsy's. You gotta see. <laughs> Can you see it? The mannequin with the big Teletubby head. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. That was just a really fun store to hang out in. Really fun. Here's another great place in Oberlin. All things great, consignment, vintage, and recreated. So we're going to go in here and hope they let us film, and we'll see what we can find. All right, so this is this little store. It's very fun. Um, lots of clothes. Lots of vintage clothes and vintage things here. Really fun. I already saw some of this. We got a little hint on the nest there. Look at this. My little vintage toy is 30. Ooh, you know I'm gonna take a look at her. Wow. That one has its upper velvet. We saw one like this at the Springfield. One of the malls there. That's nice. Um, and that's 45. Look at all the babies. Those are Joseph's. Yep. Oh, look at the little black cat. Um, bookends. Me and words. 
little chain family there of dogs. They've got 30 on this. All these human body things are cool. They want 14 for that. I feel like that's a good price on that. Oh, what's this? Look at that. Isn't that fun? What's the price on that? I can't even tell. Oh, cute. Some coloring in it. Sweet. What does it say? Does that say 22? It might. Eight dollars for the ledger. Oh, I love these. Love these, love these, love these. That's nice. Those make good art journals, by the way. like that. So I've really been enjoying my day here in Oberlin, Ohio. I stopped at some wonderful, cute little shops and a bakery. Um, really a fun little place. So if you are ever in the area and you have a chance to stop in Oberlin, I would definitely do it. It's a fun place to spend a day. Um, I just got done shopping in All Things Great Consignment and Vintage. Um, they had wonderful clothes and some really good deals, I think, on vintage clothing. And I actually bought something I would not have imagined I bought. I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, their, their vintage was a little on the higher end, but still collector prices. So if you're a collector, you can stop here and I'm sure you can find some fun stuff. Um, but there was nothing there for me for resale. I did buy one thing, though. I'll show that to you now. I bought this tin because it's green. <laughs> I thought it would be really cute in my St. Patrick's Day um, display. So, And I like this sort of thing. So I picked that up. It was $6. I thought it was, that was reasonable enough. And I also picked up... <gasps> I picked up a pair of boots. I actually have had this pair of boots in the past. I, I don't know. Mine might have been this color. It might have been more of a brown color. But oddly enough... Oddly enough, my, not this this type of boot, but the boot I was wearing last year and the year before, I knew was biting the dust and it wasn't going to make it for this season. So I knew that I needed to buy a pair of boots and I've been looking off and on <clears throat> at actual shoe stores for the last couple of years to try to find a pair of boots that I would like. And I saw these on the stairs and I'm like, oh my gosh, I know I like these boots. <laughs> so I tried them on, they fit. And I grabbed them. And guess what? I don't have to go in any more shoe stores. That's exciting to me. Anytime I can knock something off my list without having to make a special trip gets my, gets my thumbs up. And hey, speaking of thumbs up, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, you should consider doing that as well. But above all, guys, don't forget to leave a comment. Even if you just put an exclamation mark, a period, some punctuation, a smiley face, or just say hi. Just make sure you leave me a comment. That would be awesome. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, as does a thumbs up. Um, there is more, though. I do want to show you my little haul from Ratsy's. Ratsy's was probably the cutest little shop that I stopped at here in downtown Oberlin. So she was, she was also an artist, and I showed you some of her really unusual um, art stuff. <laughs> totally off the wall. Loved it immensely, but I picked up some really cute stuff there, and her prices were very reasonable, um, you know, for the vintage, so I was really happy with that. I was kind of hoping this was a Ruthie Newton, but neither one of us could find uh, marks on her that would indicate who made her, but still, she's adorable. Isn't she cute? So I got her, and then I got this guy. I don't know if you can even see him in the packaging. I just thought he was just so much fun. So I grabbed him. And then she had a little basket right by the register, kind of like um, 
like a treasure chest like you'd find if you went to go to the dentist or the doctor or something and you got to pick a prize for your purchase. And I picked this little um, poker chip from Caesar's Palace. So I thought that was really fun. So yeah, Razzie's and I talked to her for a while. She she was a really, really nice lady. I enjoyed speaking with her. This is their little business card for Razzie's. Again, if you're in Oberlin, stop by here. Um, I did talk to her, she doesn't do shipping. So um, you kind of have to come over here and, and shop her store, but you really want to because it's really adorable. So that does it for me, guys. Don't forget to check out one of these videos here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.